Hello, I'm Rowan, and today I'm making a quick video on how I fixed a problem. You may find this helpful if your computer keeps going to sleep even after turning off your sleep options. My PC is set to never sleep. I put it to sleep manually when I'm done using it. So I was completely surprised the last two days when my PC went to sleep within five minutes of me waking it up. So I did a little digging online and found this answer on superuser.com. There are four solutions on this page to the problem that I was having, and it might be the problem that you're having too. Um, number one involved doing some changes in regedit, and um, as a note, when you're doing changes in regedit, you have to do that as admin to make them actually mean something, and you have to be extra careful that you're not changing the wrong thing in regedit. You can mess something up pretty badly and then not know where you changed it to fix it back. So be very careful with solution number one. What we need to do here is we need to get into regedit. We need to enter a specific uh, file path in regedit and change it from a 1 to a 2. And then we need to go and check some stuff in a control panel. Okay, so we need to actually load regedit. That's over here. Let's type in regedit. And then we need to run it as administrator. There we go. Now, I've already got the path here. I've also got it listed down below in the description. But I'm going to copy it anyway, and I'm going to click into here, going to start at H key local, change out anything that we had in there, put in the new one and hit enter, and that'll take us right back to where we were. But that's okay. The next step is to go into attributes and double click on that, and you'll see that it brings up a little tab and right now it's set to 2, which is what do you want it to be. Uh, originally when I came in here it was set to 1. But we want it to be set to 2. And we click OK. Now, we're done in regedit. Let's close regedit or at least minimize it for now. And now we need to go into the advanced power settings. So let's bring up control panel. There we go. And now let's type in, oh, there it is, power. And now let's go into our current plan, which is sleep when I want it. We're going to change the plan settings. All right. And we're going to set that. Right now it says 20 minutes. Put the computer sleep never. Change advanced power settings. And we'll bring this up. And so I'm not blinding you all. There we go. Now, we want to go to the sleep settings, and you'll see that there are three items in here now. We now have system unattended sleep timeout, which we're going to hit a plus on. And you see, I've set it to 1440 minutes. That's the number of minutes in a day. So right now, if I leave my computer unattended for an entire day, it will go to sleep. Yay. That's what we wanted it to say. When I first came in here this morning, it said two, as in two minutes. Yeah, that was pretty lame. Thank you, Microsoft, for hiding critical things that randomly take effect. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you change that number, come down to apply and click apply. So, that is solution number one. All right, now let's scroll down to solution number two. Number two says, uh, open start menu, search for control panel, go to appearance and personalization, change screen saver. Click on change screen saver under personalization. Okay, and um, 
or search in the top right as the option appears to be gone in recent versions of Windows 10. Now, this page is about Windows 10, obviously, but I have found that pretty much all of these little tweaks work for Windows 11 also. So, what we're going to do is, instead of going into Control Panel, we are going to do a search for a screensaver and see what that brings us. So we're going to go down to the lower window button here and we're going to type screen saver. Oh, look at that. Change screen saver. It's under power options. You know what comes up in power options when you open it up? Not change screen saver. Thank you again, Microsoft. So let's click here. And let me bring this over to where you can see it. And so here we have it. And you get to see my script in tiny print. Isn't that great? Okay. So right now, screensaver is set to none. And I have changed the wait time to 1,440 minutes. That's the number of minutes in a day. And the on resume display log on screen has been unchecked. In order to change this number, you might have it set to something like 20 or 2 minutes, something ridiculous. Um, you need to click the little box, come in here and type a number, and then unclick the box because now it won't even do it. Or you could click on this, hit apply, and then click on the little checkbox so it doesn't even try to do this, and then hit apply. So that's solution number two, is to make sure that number is nice and high in case it turns on, and then turn off that option so it doesn't do it. So let's scroll down to solution number three of four. Remember, this is three of four, even though I got a little surprise for you. Number four talks about something we already did. That's okay. We'll do it in any way. <laughs> we'll do it live. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so number three down here, sorry. For those of you that end up here and still experience Windows 10 locking the computer, um, have a look at sign-in options, win key, then typing sign-in options, scroll down to dynamic lock, and uncheck the allow Windows to lock your device automatically. All right, so. This is actually fairly up to date. So if we go to the Windows menu and we type in sign, did it put a hyphen in there or not? Oh, yes, they do. In options. There we go. It's the first item. Finally, a direct path, right? Um, those aren't sign in options. It's okay. We'll type that again. Sign dash in option. Uh, no, no. Thank you, Microsoft, for changing things. <laughs> so let's type in dynamic. Oh, there we go. Dynamic lock. Click on that. And voila, dynamic lock. And we've already unchecked this. Allow Windows to automatically lock your device when you're away. Seriously, Microsoft. How many ways do you want to lock my device? Why? 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 You know, I understand. You want to push everyone to this new system. But it's all over the place. And... You have, you have more dead chromosomes than the human genome. You know that? Bunch of dead ends that aren't even being used anymore. All right, so 
if we click on this, it, it says it's not working because your PC has no paired phone. Well, I never intend to pair my phone on Microsoft's level. Luckily, I can just come in here and uncheck that button again, and we're good. That is solution number three, number three, three, three fingers, see? Not an AI. I can actually, I can actually have up to five and not six in one hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, three, three. Dyslexia. Sorry. Three. Okay. So, let's close this and look at number four. Scrolling down to number four. Another possible answer is to increase the sleep timeout. You see, system unattended sleep timeout. Yeah, um, I think it was number one where we decided to up the number. They set it for nine 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 nine. Um, I found that I found that maybe that's the biggest number. Maybe I had an extra digit, but um, number four is actually something we did in number one. So actually there's only three solutions here. But hey, that made this video shorter, right? Yay! <laughs> so I have, of course, put links in the description to the super user page, as well as the file path to the regedit entry. And um, I'm going to have to stress this again, that you should understand that any changes you make in regedit can be dangerous. Be sure you are editing the correct entry and make notes. That way, you know, if you are editing the wrong one or if you are making a change that caused an unintended consequence, you can go back and change it back. All right? So, I hope this video has helped you solve a problem or at least pointed you in the right direction. And even if it didn't, I enjoyed wasting time with you today and look forward to the next time I can help. So, until then, bye!